Um, so this is going to be the introduction to passion. And it's called Getting Passionate, which passionate was the original title of short little trivia. <coughs> passion. It can mean greed, desire, affection, love, or simply emotion. You will find all of those and more in the stories contained herein. As you read these 20 stories, you too will be swept away by passion as you travel to Paris and Greece and Beverly Hills, and two of those places you will hear about tonight. You'll get stuck in an elevator, take a bubble bath, and a bus ride, not to mention some subway foreplay and flirting, and explore nature in some very intimate ways. You'll find couples and couplings by men and women looking, whether they know it or not, to spice things up in the bedroom. Here, couples at all stages of their relationships, including the very beginning, kindle their passion in various ways, from exes who reunite to young marrieds on a naughty nature walk, to first-timers mixing business with pleasure. When Krista in Crave You Close by Anne Pertnett tells Nikki, I'm so used to having to hold my breath, she is saying so much about their usual erotic MO. At night, outdoors, she is free to make as much noise as she wants to. These couples explore getting kinky precisely because they feel intimately connected to each other. They go places literally and figuratively. They wouldn't dare without the other. They revisit old flames and nurture new ones. Indeed, sometimes the men these women crave, such as Maya does in the silver belt, are not their husbands at all, but someone else someone special, someone who is seeing them in an entirely new light. Those stories mingle with other tales of longtime lovers ignited to fiery scenes within these pages. Passion can mean so many things, from the sexual submission of a caning to exploring new bodily territory, sexual experimentation, trying something you fantasized about. It can mean makeup sex or role play, a change of scenery, or simply a change of thinking. It can mean looking at a lover, a husband, a boyfriend, or a new boy toy with fresh eyes, sizing him up, bearing yourself, daring him to come and get you. Just as in real life, there are lovers, lovers quarrels within these pages, slights real and imagined, as couples find tender, erotic ways to heal their hurts and become even closer. There is an element of real, raw passion in the way love and desire can as easily tear us down as build us up that makes us appreciate each expression of romance all the more, because we know how truly special it is. I'm grateful these authors skip from playful romps to relationship-saving sex, to tender memories, to scorching sex scenes, together creating a book that will likely make you blush and make your heart swell. As the narrator in one of my favorite pieces, My Dark Night by Jacqueline Appleby says, I'm a not-so-hopeless romantic. I believe that chivalry still exists. I hope to find quiet nobility in the most random of places. And I believe that people who love each other can live happily ever after. She finds a dark, very sexy knight who she rescues, seduces, and then, but you'll have to read the story to find out. <laughs> so that was the introduction, and I am in a very, very